talk to Joseph in Vegas. Joseph, you're live with Eric and Rudy. What would you like to talk about today? Joseph, going once. Oh, I hope Joseph comes back. I'm going to pop you back into the queue. Hey, there you are. I'm so sorry. I had my phone on mute. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It happens, brother. What did you want to talk about? Yeah, so I'm actually a fan of the show. I've been watching uh, Atheist Experience for a while. I I particularly like Matt, Matt okay. Dillahunty. I, I don't agree with his method because he uses more of like a um, uh, condescending type of response to callers. And, you know, I, I don't really think that's the caller's fault. Some some of your callers, they may be not able to articulate what they believe and to word it properly, but I have been a fan of this show, and I, I have liked Matt uh, debating Matt Slick. So, I believe so, that was his name. Matt Slick and Matt yeah. my two so, favorite so, debates. But I will uh, Two things, really um, quick. I have a few things. Uh, go ahead. Two things, really quick. Um, yeah. Calling in to talk heathen to talk about the atheist experience kind of sucks on the host side. Just so you know. I'm so sorry. I thought this was okay. uh, no, so They're a big sister uh, show. I just, I just want you to call us to talk to us, too. And the other thing is, in I, defense I'm of Matt. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm a it, new it, caller. No worries, brother. And the other thing is, in defense of Matt, he reaches a whole lot of people that we don't. And because of his voice, yeah. he reaches a whole lot of people that, that would not listen otherwise. I, I think that it takes all types. And I think his approach is valuable. And so while that doesn't work for you, what's good is that we're diversifying and we're making sure that we are having all of those approaches. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't disparage the approach. Just say it doesn't work for you. That's all. I would even pop you know, in I and say it. that it, I, I, I kind of agree with you to some extent, but it really does take all types of voices. And one of the calls on the atheist experience on a day that Matt Dillahunty was hosting the show is the day that I finally had to tell myself, okay, I am an atheist. So it does, it, it, it works. It doesn't work for everybody, but it works for some people. Absolutely. It was a big part of the reason. Yeah. But regardless, um, I do. We, we do want to talk to you about what you want to talk about. What, what would you like to talk about? Yeah, I'll get into that. But you know, I I also wanted to talk about uh, my experience with the atheist forums because I've been on a few atheist forums, and you know, it comes across to many people when I challenge their worldviews as I'm trolling, and I never understood that. You know, I took atheists to be free thinkers. And when logic and reason are applied, you would, you know, grant me, uh, you know, your, your views. But from my experience, I've been banned from all these forums for challenging um, world views about evolution um, and, you know, your positions on life. And so I guess I wanted to talk about some of those positions. But just to quickly talk about uh, what the last caller said, uh, I believe you said something about when you drop something, then the laws of gravity come into effect. Um, I, I don't think that's absolutely always true. I think there was a scientist that uh, took two magnets. And, you know, magnets, when, they, um, when you put them close together, they repel each other. Mm -hmm. um, so he put two magnets two magnets together and he closed them off inside a capsule and dropped it and it was about the same size of a rock and the magnets actually felt um, slower than the rock. Well, and so, so there's but, but, a whole speculation about is it actually magnetism or is it the rotation of the earth or is it gravity that we're dealing with? Well, but these are all different observable laws, right? These are all different things. The magnetic force is different from gravitational force. One, you're talking about uh, mass and how mass uh, attracts mass, right? And so you have a huge mass that is the planet Earth, right? And th that would attract yep. to it. But mag magnetism is actually a, a pretty freaking strong force, one that doesn't invalidate gravity, but is, an a, for but is a force in and of itself. So... But regardless, I, I don't know where we're going with this. Yeah, Joseph, I hope you didn't okay. just call in to talk about magnets. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 there's like a, a old juggalo somewhere in the back being like, oh my gosh, this is the best. Okay, <laughs> so go ahead. I'll get to my at hand here. This is what is actually getting me banned from a lot of forums. Okay. So I'm assuming all atheists are evolutionists. They just don't know it because science points to evolution as the most accurate theory. Do you agree with that? Wait, no. what? 
I am. I'm assuming all atheists are evolutionists. They just that would don't definitely know be a false assumption. Evolution has the most accurate theory. So if you're atheist, evolution is the best theory. You just haven't accepted it. So yeah, that's, that's wrong on a couple of areas. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that all atheists are evolutionists, and there's no other alternative to evolution. You so, know, you're painting with a pretty broad brush, Joseph. Uh, all atheists encompasses a lot of people. And the only thing that atheism I means is that they don't fun. believe in God. It doesn't necessarily entail anything else about, it doesn't even explain why they don't believe in God. It may literally just be a person who has never been introduced to the concept of a God and therefore has never had the chance to even think if that's true or not. Like that, it, you're, you're painting with oh, a very what broad is, brush. What is the alternative to evolution? If you're an atheist, oh. what is the alternative to evolution? Hold on. It, it's I, not. Oh, go, ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I, I just wanted to jump in just a little bit too on that one. Um, Joseph, um, we could drive together to Sonoma and probably learn a whole lot about atheists that I disagree with. <laughs> um, it, it definitely doesn't have anything to do with the, the skeptic approach. And the other thing that I want to be super clear about is science is not a monolith. It's a process. It's a process that's continually right. being used. So science says X. Actually, it, w w what that does is that shows me that either that was poorly stated or your, your understanding of how science and, and the scientific method works. Because if there was something other than evolution that better, excri better, ex better described, excuse me, what we observe, then it would be science that would knock evolution out. Right, science is simply the process. Now, if you want to talk about evo uh, speciation by evolution, just know that two people you're talking to today are not just atheists, yeah. but we are <clears throat> skeptics. But go ahead. Skeptics. Okay, I I am completely I agree with that. Skepticism is the best uh, method. I think it's the best theory to have. Um, now, why do I think uh, evolution is silly? Uh, well. Because I haven't heard of any alternative, you can defend, you know, the scientific method. I have issues with the scientific method proving evolution because of the silliness of evolution. For example, uh, there's an evolutionary model of the whale. It shows a dog evolving into a whale. It's a four-legged dog with a snout like a dog, and it evolves into a whale. And I said, wait a minute, how could, evolu how could evolutionists believe this? And Joseph, then I dig, I dig deeper, and I saw. Can I just ask you real quick? I just want to ask yeah. you real quick. When when you say that that's silly, do you mean that it's impossible, or do you just mean that that seems difficult to accept, or do you mean that it is literally well, impossible? I think it's, I think it's silly, and perhaps impossible. I've heard debates about it. The dog animal is called Pachycetus. And uh, they basically asked the evolutionists of how many years would it take for the morphological uh, aspect of that dog to turn into a, you know, a whale with a well, air hole is, on its I head. I feel like we need to make clear is isn't like a dog. It's it, you said it, it's dog looking, but it's uh, it's not a dog, right? We're not talking about a dog and and. Um, I guess land animals that are similar to it uh, would be dogs howl. They have whiny voices. And okay, that's but the definition. Dog but that's not how scientists. That's not how scientists would classify that animal, though, because the way that those animals are classified makes a big difference in you know evolutionary pathways. Because yeah, saying that uh, a dog evolved into a whale might sound kind of silly, but if you are using the more scientific explanations for these things. Uh, I, I mean, uh, basically what I'm saying is you're, you're kind of making a straw man out of this. You're, you're kind of, you're framing this in a way that does sound silly, but if you had an expert in the subject explain it to you, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't just be them standing here saying that a dog evolved into a whale. It's obviously a lot more uh, involved than that. Do you get do you okay. get what I'm I saying mean, I, there? 
Yes, I've heard debates on the subject, um, you know, about how long it would take for this animal to actually turn into a whale, and do we have enough time given the model that we've used? It would probably take a few more million years, but I want to say there's also lack of evidence. I, I like to specialize in human evolution. Uh, so far, I've looked at human evolution. I think this is the biggest one. We have, I think, five or less fossils of human ape to human evolution, ape to human fossils, and none of them are complete. We don't have a full skeleton at all. We have like maybe a skull and an arm, okay, or just like um, hips. So th th there like are a couple of dinosaurs oh, like and we can find full fossils of that but we can't find not one complete joseph? fossil of an ape to a man joseph yeah okay just making sure you can hear me i was choking just a minute ago so i needed to mute out for a second oh god oh. <laughs> <laughs> so um really quickly just so, so i'm sure that we're on the same page here are you pointing to gaps in the fossil record to indicate that you disagree with evolution that you think that what is this a pro creation argument or is this an anti evolution argument? No, this, this, where, where are we going is, here? This is a pro intelligent design argument. And I'm okay, taking cool. from the words of Richard Dawkins. If you talking, okay, been stunned. Joseph, Joseph, yes. You may not know this because you probably, you may not have watched the show the last couple of weeks, but I swear, if one more person misquotes Richard R Richard Dawkins on the show, it, it will not be fair the, the the way that I treat them because I am so frustrated by that. So please, you, can that one? Okay. okay? And, and you let's disagree with the statement. Let's move forward. Okay. Oh, let's move forward. Are you being sarcastic, okay. Joseph? I'm being sarcastic. I'm just yeah. giving tough yeah. questions. And this is why I get banned from uh, atheist websites because these tough questions, they don't yeah. make Joseph. people feel Okay, listen, dude. I have not heard your argument for intelligent design. Please make it. I'm giving I'm No, giving you're not. Me. No, you're not. Make an argument for intelligent design. Okay, okay. One second, one second. So I don't want to quote Dawkins saying that aliens gave us DNA in our human genetic code. I won't say that. But I will say if you are an evolutionist, logically, you have to assume if the universe is 14 billion years old, Earth could not be the only planet in the universe with life on it. Because if it is, Got hallelujah, it. so, it's a miracle. Well, I, actually, miracle. I, can, I, can, I think I can hop in here for a second. Um, you have not given an argument for intelligent design here. What you have done is bitched about evolution and bitched about what people have said about evolution or what you think their conclusions are. I don't care. You're here to make an argument for intelligent design. If you think poking holes in what you don't like about evolution provides a scrap of evidence towards intelligent design, you're wrong. So please make your arguments for intelligent design. I never, well, hold on, hold on. I never said I was going to defend intelligent design. I was defending why. For intelligent design. We can rewind it. I feel like I should be, should be John Madden here. Tail of the tape, we're just going to rewind and circle right here. Here's where Joseph says. That I agree with. I believe, yes, we could be intelligent, intelligently designed, but my argument is why evolution is silly and how a evolutionists should believe in aliens, even though that is silly. Okay, um... So you're not here to make an intelligent design argument. You're here to bitch about evolution, right? Yeah, I'm bitching Joseph, about evolution. I'm saying why. And I, Joseph, you know, can I ask you something? Yeah. Um, you have made you have given reasons why you think that evolution doesn't make sense, and that's yeah. all well and good. Um, do you know why most scientists do believe in evolution like have do, do you understand the theory well enough to at least understand why other people believe it why do you think other people believe yeah. in evolution except evolution rather well i think because right now the idea that aliens exist and ufos exist is silly that doesn't have anything to do with evolution why are we talking about aliens 
Well, because I, I feel that aliens, you know, if we look at the human genetic code, I feel like aliens could have um, okay. genetically Joseph, modified us. We're Joseph, not talking about abiogenesis. Joseph. About evolution. Joseph. Yeah. What you did there just now is not listen to a thing Rudy said because Rudy asked you a specific question. And instead, you tried to redirect the conversation away from the question Rudy asked you. Rudy specifically asked you something, dude. And it had nothing to do with aliens. If the conversation goes there, it will. But if you're going to wait your turn to talk, this will be the end of the conversation. Can you repeat? Okay, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Can you repeat I the question that Rudy asked you? Evolution Hold on. the best evidence because of naturalism. You believe that people... Go ahead, say that one more time. Because of naturalism, when you invoke spirituality and the idea that there could be something outside of the physical realm, outside of the physical body, that's like magic. Um, you know, and, and I don't think there's... Science doesn't deal with spiritual things. It doesn't deal with the non-physical. So okay. that, but you realize the reason it doesn't deal with the spiritual is because we can't prove that the spiritual exists and science works with things that we can demonstrate, right? Well, it depends on who you talk to. How about scientists? Okay. Well, yeah, there are plenty of I scientists out there who believe in spiritual things, but they also are aware that they cannot scientifically demonstrate them. Yeah, uh, Joseph, I, I can't take you to school, um, but I suggest you go and take a class because you said you specialize in human evolution. That denigrates the people who spend their lives actually specializing in things. You, this is a hobby. In the same way that for Rudy and I, this conversation is a hobby. For me D &D. to say I specialize... D&D hmm? is a hobby. Yeah, exactly. I, but for us to say we specialize in counter apologetics and philosophy, yeah. I think would be a huge disservice to those people who dedicate their lives to those things. So again, there seems to be a fundamental misunderstanding here. People don't believe and accept evolution because the spiritual is scary. They accept it because of the preponderance of evidence that has not only been found, but has been predicted and continues to, to lead to exactly what you would expect if evolution happened the way that it's described. Across multiple right. fields, across multiple different, um, I, I mean, different parts of academia have all been able to notice and predict things based off of what we see in evolution. That's why. So okay. the idea that we are scared of the supernatural and that's why we accept evolution, either you were trying to change the subject again or you are criminally wrong about something, dude. Give people credit. At least understand that they're, uh, they're, that they're listening, that they're exploring, that they're actually believing things for good reasons, hopefully. But if you're going to write people off like that and that be your answer, then dude, there's your problem. Okay. Um, I, I, your argument is well noted. I need to go back to school, but my argument still stand. You know, in the past, people had, arg had problems with the earth being flat. And when people said, hey, the earth is not flat, they criticized them. You know, when when I give examples of the human evolution and I say we have maybe a skull here and a, and a hip here, that doesn't account for human evolution. Uh, I haven't had any argument or any challenge yeah, to that. The, the problem with that, it Joseph, is. is that the people who actually specialize in those things disagree with you. That's it, I, your own it's speculation from an amateur uh, perspective of looking at that and just being like, hmm, you know, I don't get it. That doesn't invalidate all of the scientific evidence that has been uh, building on itself for literally like over a hundred years. That does your personal incredulity does not invalidate all of that research. Well said. Well said. And, and okay. just I, I hope you know that going back to school, there's nothing wrong with that. And also, what are these fossils? I want to see them. You should don't ask you, us. <laughs> absolutely, actually, go ask Garn Raw. He's got a lot of that info, um, and I know that if he's if he's watching this, his head's about to pop. Aaron, 
Get ready. We're going to send you Joseph. Uh, Joseph, dude. I really, do, I, I really do hope you 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 continue to explore, and that exploration should include people who dedicate their lives to those things. Talk to biologists. Talk to archaeologists. Talk to. I understand how evolution works. Natural selection mutation doesn't account for ab abiogenesis, and I haven't seen the fossil record for humans. I've seen a couple, okay. not okay. fully okay. formed, in lots of dinosaur fossils, but no okay. humans. I agree with you that evolution does not account for abiogenesis, and nobody said it did. Second, the lack of fossils, I think you would be incredibly surprised to find just how many transitional fossils there are, because there are tons. I highly suggest you look up Aaron Ra. He has some really great stuff to talk about it. And if you don't, if you find him abrasive, you want to find somebody else, that's totally okay. There are lots of approaches, lots of ways that you can find it. Um, I hope that your journey goes well, my friend. And Joseph, All if right. I may add in a personal piece of advice, the reason that you were getting banned from these forums is not because of your information. It's because of your approach. Yeah. They, I think that you should watch this call back. It, it's, I, just, it, I just learned the best. Matt Dillahunty, he uses the same method. I'm doing the same. But can I leave you with one more thing also? Hold on. Um, Hold on, Joseph. Yes, does, does that feel good? I'm sorry? I mean, you're saying you, you came in here saying you don't like abrasive. And then you're saying I'm being abrasive, but I'm doing what other people are doing. Hold yourself to... Oh, no, sir. You want to see I'm another not, I'm not condescending in any way. I'm not, I'm not saying you're condescending. I'm saying no, and I believe hold yourself up to a higher standard if that's what you want to do. Be the example of the type of person you want to talk to. I am not condescending in any way. Yeah, okay. Also, um, I totally lost my point. And you know what? That's totally okay. I was trying to listen and trying to follow along. So if it didn't match into what we're talking about now, that's okay. Uh, go ahead and make it last and then we'll on. Do you mind if I leave you with one more thing? Yeah, go for it, bro. Uh, so, you know, I believe science is the best, the best method that we should use. And if there is evidence against the theory, we should accept it. So I would like to leave you with one thing. Maybe you guys could research and study and be open to it. Um, there is actual evidence that we could evolve from pigs as pigs have genetically, I believe, the exact same DNA as humans. They did a side-by-side -side comparison in the University of Illinois, and they said it's pretty much identical. Uh, so we also have... Um, do, do you recognize we that, we, we, that, that we share common ancestors, that we don't evolve from currently existing things? Well, there's, there's, there's debates with that. I, I think interbreeding would be one. Uh, most animals that are species that are related can interbreed with each other. A horse and a donkey, a tiger and a liar, a, I, I, a tiger I, I, and a lion. Uh, and humans cannot. However, pigs are used in medical... statement that I've made. Let, let me try that one more time. Joseph, you, you do recognize that we hearken back to common ancestors. We do not evolve from other currently existent creatures. I mean, there are some, there are some things you look at, uh, what was it, trilobites, you know, that, that have been around for a really long time. But when it comes to the evolution of our species, we track back to ancestors that were not human. They were common way back there. We don't evolve from other, like a pig doesn't uh, yeah. give birth to a human. The reason we have uh, similar DNA to pigs is because we have the same ancestors far back enough but yeah like we, we are actually related to pigs and that is it that is it proof against evolution it just in means, any way really yeah it just means that well, we're I'm, animals I'm, I'm, like I'm, all the others the evidence that we're using is um comparative anatomy they're using comparative anatomy we're not talking about dna we're not talking about biology because there are other animals that are just as close as apes so the only thing that we can use is comparative anatomy Okay, I you know what I, I trilobites are extinct. My bad. Sorry. Thank you for <laughs> keeping me. Uh, <laughs> thank you for keeping me honest in the live chat, uh, Joseph. Uh, we have been on this call for a really long time, though. We want to move on to get to talk to a couple other people. Yes. Hey, thank you so much for taking my call. Take care, my man. Yep. <sighs>
you know, it's funny. It's, I'm not a scientist. Rudy, I don't know if you are. Hell no. <laughs> but I'm not, like, I find myself coming to the aid of, or, or, or coming to talk about science because people think that we're experts in it. Like, we'll do our best. But if you want to learn about a thing, take a class. Yeah. In no way a bad thing at all. Grow yourself. Yeah. I, I, I always think it's funny when people, like, come to a, a, a well-supported uh, scientific theory or fact, and they're just like, I don't get this particular thing, and I think that makes all of it grumble. I don't get this part of it. That doesn't make sense to me, so that's all I need to know. Like, oh, my goodness. We've got, like, 15 callers. We have so many 